things, you know, it was, it was really, it was, and producers who suggested stories that would be against the brain were reassigned. And two of these guys were Vietnam vets. And they're, they're like, they're so angry at seeing this happen and seeing the news being managed and controlled by an agenda, a political agenda, that they try to pawn themselves off to the American public as being objective, when in fact, they are the most subjective. You know, and I finally got tired of that. I was on that CBS morning show and the, the Hannah Storm says to me, uh, well, what do you say to people who call your film propaganda? I, <laughs> I, I said, uh, I said, I call it the CBS Evening News propaganda. That's what I say. My film is the anti-propaganda. It's the antidote to the lies and to the and to the shading of the truth. And and it's just it's amazing. It's just I am just laughing inside when they when they hit me up with this. But you know. I ask them, and I see some of them have come out here, and I, I, again, I ask you to have the courage to do your job. You live, you live, you live in the United States of America, and by implication, that means you can ask any question you want. Any question, right? You, I haven't seen the law passed. We're not to Patriot Act 3 yet. I haven't seen the law passed that says you will be arrested if you ask someone in the administration a question. Why not ask the questions? Why not? Well, of course they're afraid. Of course they're harassed. You know, and they're afraid that they won't be on Air Force One. They're afraid of losing their jobs. Listen, my friends, the only way you and the media are going to help us and we need your help because you have the access to power. This crowd doesn't get to go into the White House press room. You do. You're inside. And you're there. You're there because it's a privilege. It's a public trust that we've given you to do the job that needs to be done. ABC and she's been covering the Kucinich beat. I said, you gotta be kidding me. I haven't seen those stories. Where, what, what? <laughs> Did they give you a one-way ticket to Siberia? <laughs> yeah, there, there, there's the hook. There's the Kucinich story right there. Yeah, can you believe uh, someone from ABC told me that there was actual a Kucinich beat? Where what? Have you seen it? Did you see it? I miss so I might have been busy those nights. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, we um, um, we're gonna head back over to the convention hall now, uh, where we've been able to scarf ourselves uh, some passes. And um, somebody uh, said to me here. Uh, doing here uh, at this uh, convention and I said well I'm, I'm kind of here on a, on a cojones delivery because uh, you see the Democrats if they don't find the courage to stand up for what the majority of Americans want they're not going to win this election and uh, my uh, humble request to John Kerry and to the Democrats is to start standing up for the things that the majority of Americans want. The majority of Americans are opposed to this war now. The majority of Americans want these soldiers to come home. The majority of Americans want the rich to be taxed. Democrats. And I'm not, I'm not a Democrat.
Democrat. So I'm, I'm, maybe I have no place in saying this, but I, 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 you're like cousins to us. <laughs> Somewhat wayward cousins at, at, at times, but, but you're, we still consider you part of the family. And, and I ask you to please, please, don't move to the right thinking that's how you're going to get votes. That is a critical mistake. The people over on the right already have a party. It's called the Republican Party. They've already got the prime rib. Why would they want the hamburger version? The, the Democrats trying to be like Republicans. Republican like. Imitation leather versus the real leather. What do you want? Leather or leather? You know, it's... I know the animal rights people say... Those are the PETA helicopters. <laughs> Anyways, it's so wonderful to talk to you outside of a cage. media are here to cover this and not be penned up with you. I'm sure they don't want to be in there either. You uh, here represent what is the mainstream majority in America now. America has taken a huge shift and I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that the Democrats and Mr. Kerry will recognize that. Stand up forthrightly for the things that we all believe in. Push hard for them. Don't try to, to, to make the message go soft to appeal to that small sliver now that's still undecided. Energize the base. Energize the, get the base out there. 50% of this country does not vote. And who are they? The non-voters, are they the wealthy? Are they the elite? No, they're the poor, the working class, young people, single moms, the people who have been disenfranchised, the people who have sunk into their despair and who've given up and no longer vote. And whenever they say that they are going to, you know, take a poll, it's always amongst the likely voters. And they say it's a 50-50 country. It's not a 50-50 country because they're not counting the other 50% who've been disenfranchised. And we need to give them a reason to come out of the House on November 2nd. That John Kerry needs to inspire them and promise them and promise to follow through and not leave them behind. Or they'll never come out and vote. It's the only way to win. Some Democrats? Mm -hmm. I mean, they do it for protesters. I